everybody. I'm going to show you how to set up BZ Miner with their new efficiency settings on Windows. Start out by going to the CASA website, and the best way to do this, to know that you're actually on the right website, would be going to Mining Pool Stats, find the coin itself, and you can get a lot of information about the coin from here, current prices, what the pool distribution is like, and below you'll see links to websites, Discord, forum, but this way you know this is the official website. So you click on this, go to CASPA. Once you're here, you want to go to resources. You'll see your different wallet options. Um, this is by far the easiest and the one that I'm going to show you for today. So you click on this. From here, you just click on create new wallet or recover if you have a seed phrase. Create a new wallet. Put any password you'd like. From here, you're going to want to write this down. Now, this is not something you should keep digitally. You should write it down on paper and keep it somewhere safe where you know you're never going to forget it because if you lose this, you cannot get back into your wallet. From here, if you click next, it's going to ask you to basically say back some of these words. So for me, I'm just going through my list and picking what those words were. From here, once you're into your wallet, you can get uh, your receive address, which is right here. And this is what you're going to paste into your mining software. So for now, I'll just put this on the clipboard and keep going from here. So back to the CAS website. If you keep scrolling down in the resource page, you'll see all of the miners you can use. We are going to take BZ Miner because this seems to be the one that has the new efficiency settings at this time. You go into BZ Miner, you're going to choose Download for Windows. Once that's all downloaded, you're going to extract it like any other mining software. Then you're going to go to Guides, How to Mine Caspa. Now from here on this page, you have all the information that you need. So if you keep scrolling, you'll see this is what you do if you want to set up a config file. But I'm personally, I'm going to use the Casper file that already exists in the miner. Keep scrolling, instructions on how to use HiveOS, which honestly, if you can, I would always suggest HiveOS over Windows. Uh, it seems to be even more efficient on HiveOS than it is in Windows. Keep scrolling. And these are the commands you're going to need. I don't know if you watched Red Panda's video, but he gave exact details on what the numbers you should use here. Uh, and I'll, I'll go through that again. So from here, you'd go and you'd extract your miner, which I've already done. Uh, you can find the CASPA file. From there, you edit it. You can see here, replace CASPA 000 with your wallet address, which I have in the clipboard. So you're going to take this CASPA 000 copy what you have in your clipboard. And yes, you need to keep this CASPA colon. Uh, and these were the settings that Red Panda gave, except for three series cards or 30 series cards, it was 300. For 20 series cards, it'd be 250. And for 10 series cards, I found that 100 works good. But to get them in Windows, you're going to need to add these as parameters to the line. So I'll show here, you see BZ Miner, Caspa. Uh, I'm using Wooly Pooly, which I shouldn't be because it's it's already too full and it's not very decentralized that way. Uh, dash R will be your rig name. This is uh, an extra command that you can find if you go through the all of their docs. So if you were to go to their BZ Miner GitHub page, And if you scroll down all the way, there is a huge list of commands that you could use. Uh, dash R was, like I said, the rig name uh, and any other things that you may want to play with or that we may need in the future. For now, I'll go back to uh, what we were doing. So pool name, rig name. From here, you can put dash dash OC fan speed if you want to lock your fan speed. 
dash dash OC core lock to lock the core at 1470 dash dash OC offset. So this will be whatever offset you want. If you're having stability issues, you can drop it by 10 until you get a, a stable number. But for me with this 3070, 300 seems to be very stable. Uh, lock the core clock at 810. And this dash dash NC, it just uh, reads the config, but does not save it. So from here, you would save the file. Uh, go to the BZ miner, always go to properties and set this to compatibility, run as administrator. I feel on Windows, uh, overclocks don't work properly if you don't do that. Uh, and then from there, you just double click on this file. So as you can see now, it's been running for a little while here. Uh, I'm getting somewhere between 380 and 440 megahertz, depending on if I'm using the PC or not. Since this is my desktop at the moment, it could be better. Uh, watts are between 55 and 45, again, depending on if I'm using this PC or not. Now, if we go back over to what to mine and actually see if we're profitable. See, for this machine, I have 13070, so we'll just add 13070 here. It's at 10 cent kilowatt. We'll calculate. It says CASPA would be negative 12 cents. Uh, but if you can see, it's saying 530 at 100 watts, which is not at all what we're getting. So if we go to the low end, And this is really the very low end of what I'm getting because I'm seeing much better numbers if I'm not running the PC at uh, around 50 watts. Recalculate. And you can see, if I can find it, we're now profitable on Caspo. And, and again, that is very, very low end. When I'm not using the PC, I'm seeing much, much closer to um, 440 at 48 watts. which would give us seven cents a day. It's it's not much, but it's profitable. And if you're like me, I'm using these to basically heat my home throughout the winter. So instead of paying for electricity and paying for heating, uh, I'm making a small amount of money. Now, again, if you can do this on Hive OS, I would always suggest doing it on Hive OS. People are seeing much, much better efficiency. Uh, and my results so far are using 10 series, 20 series, and 30 series. Everything is, is much more efficient. And I mean, you know, 10 to 20 watts per card more efficient if you're running on Windows or Hive OS. But if you have to run in Windows, this is how you do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good luck and stay profitable.